Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee. As you can see, my faux locks are no longer here. Yay! You guys, I was missing my hair so much. I'm going to post a graphic right here so you can see what I posted on Instagram because I only had my faux locks in for two and a half, almost three weeks and I was missing my hair. So I posted this graphic on Instagram and a lot of you guys related to how I was feeling. So I'll show you that graphic right now. From you in the comments section don't leave the video <laughs> but in the comments I want you to respond and tell me what is the least amount of time that you kept a protective style in mine was two and a half weeks and you know on Instagram people were like one day one week like yeah so it's something that we can relate to each other about we just miss our hair because I was missing my curls. I felt like I wasn't connecting with you guys as much because I had a protective style in. I mean, seriously, I just missed it. But anyway, this video is about um, how I took my faux locks down. If you haven't checked out my first video on how to install them, I'll put that link right up here somewhere and you can go check that out i'll also put it in the description box that video you guys thank you guys so much for watching it adding it to your playlist sharing it all of that because that video was bananas i think right now it has over sixty thousand views um and then I also uploaded that video to my Facebook fan page and it got 1 million views in two days. Like, yeah. <laughs> so this style is definitely trending, although it has been around for a long time. Sometimes it just takes a while for it to really pick up. Um, so yeah, it's very popular right now. It's been featured on so many blogs and stuff. So thank you guys so much for your support. That video did an amazing i'm just so excited about that sorry about my voice i have morning voice you guys i feel like i sound like a man <laughs> um but anyway yeah so um last night i finally took my faux locks down and i i already had started the process and i was just doing it just how i would normally i mean i don't know i just did it how i thought i was supposed to do it but i also uploaded pictures to instagram showing like what my twist looked like when i first took the when i took the first full lockdown and then people started commenting and like oh my god how do you take them down um, do you have any tips on taking them down and you guys i was already just tired and I didn't even feel like filming, but I did film a little bit of the footage and I wanted to come to you guys just in case anyone had any questions on how to take them down. So the first thing I did is I took my faux locks down and I cut them just with just regular old scissors and I just cut them. You know, you know how like when you stretch your hair, well, that's where I cut my hair, where I knew I wouldn't cut my own hair. I know my hair comes about right here, so that's where I cut my faux lock. And then once you cut them, the hair that you wrap the braids with, it starts to loosen up by itself. So I just, you know, gently just started to unravel. And then once, um, if the hair started to unravel, I mean, if, this, if the hair started to get kind of like tangled, then I would also just cut where the tangle was.
because the hair that you wrap your flats, I mean, wrap your braids with, it doesn't matter what you do with that hair. It's not directly on your hair or anything. So yeah, so I would just unravel it, and then once it got a little bit difficult, then I would just cut the hair off, and then I had a clean cut where I can finish unraveling. Basically, I cut off the um, tangle, the tangled area. Um, so then once that hair was um. Well, oh, at the roots, you have to be very careful because that's where we laid the hair down flat and then wrapped it. Well, that can be a little bit difficult if it got tied around the top knot of your um, box braid. So just be very patient. Don't just like be all messy with it. Just be really gentle so you don't add more tangles. Um, so yeah, so once that hair was off, then of course I just unraveled my box braid. And then my twists were there. Some of them were still really juicy and moisturized because, like I said, it was only for like two and a half weeks. So my hair looked amazing. This is my hair. Like, seriously, this is my hair after I took down my faux locks. I haven't washed my hair yet. Um, I'm going to be washing my hair in a different tutorial. But, yeah, I'm, like, very pleased. This is my hair after takedown. This is my hair after takedown. I just put it up in this little bun. And yeah, this hair, you probably were thinking, you're probably thinking like, oh my God, what happened to your hair? But my hair is fine. Um, it's just, you know, when you take down any type of protective style, all the hair is like compact in these twists. And so I have kind of like a really tight twist out right now. So it may look like it's thinner or it's not as big, but yeah, it's a lot of hair in there. Um, but yeah, so... I just wanted to come to you guys really quick just with my takedown process is not a big deal but just in case it helps someone because there were some questions on my social media um so yeah so once I took out my twist I also sprayed rose water on my hair just because I hadn't put I did not put moisture on my hair for the whole two and a half weeks spray rose water on my scalp and I put coconut oil on my scalp but as far as the length of my hair I couldn't get to my hair because it really was like wrapped in all that you know fake hair so I could not get to the length of my hair so I just took care of my roots and my scalp um so as soon as I took out all of that hair I couldn't wait to add moisture so yeah I just sprayed this rose water and glycerin mix on my hair just I don't know, it just made me feel better. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I just did it because I just wanted some moisture on my hair. Um, and then today, I'm going to do my wash day and start filming this um, video for you guys. Alright, Carols, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.